So let's talk about what we're actually trying to do with regression. What I'm trying to do is estimate population parameters. I can't measure the entire population. I only have my sample. And so I'm trying to get estimates of population parameters based on my sample. That's really what we're trying to do with regression. We're trying to make estimates about population parameters. So uh, now we don't just want any possible estimation, right? So I could make an estimate based on just a guess, or I could make an estimate based on various information. I want a particular kind of estimate. And the kind of estimate that I want is what we call a blue estimate. I know that sounds a little crazy, right? So blue, B-L-U-E. Best linear unbiased estimate. So I want the best estimate I can get. Uh, that means the most efficient, the one that has the least number of, or the least amount of error, the least amount of uh, standard errors that we can get. Or it's our best, most efficient estimate of our population parameters. Now, we use the word linear here. It's the best linear unbiased estimate. Uh, we're going to talk more about what linear means in this, in this concept, uh, but for the moment, that's what the L stands for. U, unbiased. We want unbiased estimates, or as unbiased as they can, they can be. Now, our, our estimates are never going to be perfect. That's our goal, right? Our goal is for our estimates to be perfect, uh, as to be perfectly similar, perfect with our actual population parameters. But we're not going to be able to achieve that. There's always going to be some amount of error, some amount of measurement error or other kind of error that's involved with that. The goal here is for that error to be random, that it be unbiased. So that, yes, if I take error one time and then I, and then I take another sample, I get another amount of error. I take another sample, I get another amount of error. I get, take another sample, I get another amount of error. Over time, those errors should average out to zero because they are random. This gives me an unbiased estimate, right? So our estimate is not implicated by any systematic bias and therefore is going to be the closest to the actual parameter uh, except for some amount of random error. So it's the best, most efficient, linear, unbiased, which means random errors, estimate of a population parameter. If I can achieve these, then I have, if, our, if my estimates are blue, if there are best linear unbiased estimates, that's the purpose of regression. And our assumptions about regression make it so that we are achieving the best linear unbiased estimate. Why am I making that distinction? Well, regression will give us estimates. We, we, if we just plug in some numbers into the computer, it'll spit some numbers back out at us. And those will be estimates of the population parameters. The question is, will they be blue? Are they the best linear unbiased estimates that we can get? Uh, which is our gold standard for the kinds of estimates that we want. When we violate the assumptions of regression, and we're gonna go through a number of those assumptions. When we violate the assumptions of regression, that calls into question whether these are the best linear unbiased estimates that we can get. If we meet all the assumptions, then, we, then regression actually gives us those best est estimates.